So hello everyone. In this segment, I want to showcase you how simple and easy it is to create a new outbound object event. Um, and in order to do that, we already prepared a more complete use case where uh, we utilize an Azure event grid. We have a logic app configured there that sends our event into a Teams channel and allow us there in the Teams channel to approve a SAP purchase order. Um, so what we are gonna do is to configure the outbound event for when the purchase order is released so that we send this event into the event grid and then through the logic app. So in order to do that, um, I go into our SAP system and the configuration happens in the IMG, um, just as any other SAP configuration does. And the framework has a subsection here and all the configuration will be done here in connection and replication object customizing. So we do want to send data to our Azure grid. Um, so we choose that connection and as you can see, we have no objects configured yet um, and we have to create a new entry for it. So first of all, we have to give it a name and we then have to define um, how the payload should look like and we want to utilize our database view extraction so that you don't have to code anything but just define a database view. So we first give here a name of a database view. Um, so this database view does not yet exist. We will create it in a second. And the data extraction then can be done using our generic view extractor. And this goes hand in hand with a formatting function for the event grid, uh, event format. And we then also have to specify an ALE message type that we created beforehand. Um, so it's called ZACI PO release grid. And we have to specify that it should be an incremental load. And for development purposes, we do activate the tracing so that we can, in our monitoring transaction, see the payloads going out. So uh, now, as I said, the database view does not yet exist. So we have to still create it. Um, does not exist, so we create it. Um, as I said, we want to send out data on a purchase order um, so that we can approve it in a, in a Teams channel. So we want to fetch data from the purchase order header, that's EKKO, and from the line items, that's EKPO. And based on the data definition inside SAP, we uh, can take the already known uh, relationships there and uh, utilize those as our join conditions. And then we have to select the fields that we want. And we do start with the key fields. So we have to take the client and purchase order number from the header. And we take the item number from the item table. So this is an important step to get started with the key as we later link it to, uh, to a business object event and then uh, want to extract data based on the key. Um, for our use case, we need some additional information. So we need the company code, type of the purchase order. We need the vendor number. And we also want to output the purchasing organization group and the currency. And from the item table, we take also a few additional fields. We want to have the short text, the material number, the plant, and the quantity and unit. And we also want to take the net value um, just to have these as information for our approval. So now we got the, the complete list of fields that we want to add. And uh, as you see, it has the cryptic SAP field names. Um, and you probably want to rename them uh, that are utilized in the event. So we just uh, rename the ones now that I need for the, for the uh, prepared flow. Um, 
and yeah not all of them are uh, expected in the flow so we just rename the ones that we really need um, currency uh, this we named material text and material number and uh, the quantity we also want to rename that and the net value So now that we renamed everything, we can save. Um, yeah, we have to assign it to package um, and then can activate it. So once we have activated it, um, we can continue to uh, link it to our application event. So as said, we want to send out uh, purchase order information when the purchase order is released. So we choose a business object 2012, which is for purchase order. And this has an event that we can utilize here, um, an application event, release step created. And when this happens, we want to trigger our framework and we have a function module to do so. We have to enter that and activate the linkage. So we want to save that. And now the last remaining step is to define where in the in our Azure event grid it should go. So we choose the, the topic that we created there. It is called PO approval events. And we have to also change the subject. This is part of the event grid header in the payload. And we want it to be uh, our system ID. So now that we have uh, configured all that and saved it, um, we can already use it. So here on the right-hand side, you see my Fiori Launchpad. On the left-hand side, you see my uh, Teams channel where the approval notifications uh, will be posted to. And so now I create a new purchase order. Um, I have to choose the type with external approval, select a supplier to use, and also add an item that we want to order here. So having the item, we want to get 100 of that item. Now we can create the purchase order. So purchase order is in approval. And as you can see on the left-hand side, um, the notification on the approval has already arrived. It does uh, give me some data from the purchase order. So purchase order number, uh, which company code, which vendor, and which material it was, quantity and price as well. So we can click here on approve. And this will now send data back to the SAP system. And that's basically it for creating a new outbound event.